Today I'm here with Corey Moss. He is the uh, manager at our Cave Creek uh, branch of Parkway Bank. Um, recently, um, he joined our board of directors. Um, we approached him and he thought about it for a millisecond and said, yes, I'd like to serve. And then um, his willingness and his quick willingness, I said, you know, um, I've also got this other thing um, brewing um, our Desert Foothills Leadership Academy that we're partnering with, with the Holland Center. And so Corey, again, graciously agreed to pitch in. So as a president and CEO of a chamber, that's the thing you love about um, board of directors and especially new ones is their willingness to jump right in with what needs to get done. So thank you for being such a great supporter. Well, thank you. Um, you know, I guess for me is just, you know, when you talk about doing a millisecond of answering, uh, it's, a, it's an honor, it's a privilege to be a part of the chamber um, just because as, as a business, uh, being a part of the chamber, the networking, the opportunities, just to allow people to know that you're a part of the community, you're a part of uh, being out there to service and do anything you possibly can. And of course, being a board member on the chamber kind of allows you to go to the next step, the next level is to really look at the community, look at the businesses, look at the area around and what can we do to help improve? What can we do to streamline different uh, policies, procedures of different things around the area that can help these businesses grow? Because when it really comes down to it, the areas that we're really trying to focus on is the city. And to get that to grow, we need these businesses to flourish. Yeah. And so to be a part of the chamber, we're able to say, hey, what are your challenges? What are you seeing? What can we help you with? And then we can turn around and try to help them and ease those ways for them. So of course, when it was asked to be on the chamber, mm -hmm. it was easy to say yes to it uh, for that. And like you said, when you asked about the leadership mm -hmm. of getting into that, it was a great program. I've done this before myself at different areas. It allows us to really help younger generation to become stronger leaders within the community, to help them. It goes through, a, for this course, it's a nine course uh, step that we're gonna be doing, which allows them to see different areas mm -hmm. of business, to see different areas of government, to see different areas of resources, of what these cities around us have to offer, what the state of Arizona has to offer, and what a lot of some either businesses, nonprofits, government, what they go through on a day-to-day -day basis, mm -hmm. what they'd help out to bring in tourism, what they do to bring in new businesses mm -hmm. into our communities and that. So each of these classes will allow them to really focus on that, to really get in depth and ask the questions, to understand actually what goes on in my community. Mm -hmm. And then of course, with that it helps them to, once they have learned this, we, we hope that they'll serve a little bit more, mm -hmm. really get involved in their communities wherever they're at. Hopefully it's here, but to really get involved and just to say, okay, what can I do? What can I get more involved with the nonprofits? What can I do? Maybe I wanna get more involved with government, mm -hmm. different areas of that. So for me, it was a, it was a privilege to be a part of that group. Uh, it's been fun, a really good committee that we can join. And like I said, it's, we look forward to the, the first annual mm -hmm. coming up yeah. and many, many more. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I've seen this in other programs, other areas. It's done a great job. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Well, we, we look forward to um, your service um, for the next several years on our board. We, and we look forward to other areas that we can grow our community together. So thank you, Corey. Thank you.